What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. I'm Chris Cabellas. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. As everyone can see, it's Christmas time. Um, definitely my favorite holiday. Mine too. Um, you know, heck, I end up celebrating Christmas in like um, June, mm. July. I celebrate it all the way through February. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And um, me and you have gone filming before too and listened to Christmas music this summer, I think. Yep, yeah. We had our little Christmas in July uh, during our video shoots. But um, awesome. So. Whatever, we'll just, uh, I guess we'll get right to it, so is there anything new with you in the world of gaming at all? Not really, no. So, yeah, nothing really too much with me, um, just getting ready and finding different games, different games to play and stuff for the gaming geeks, you know, just trying to figure out, because we want to do newer consoles, I want to do stuff on the PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One, but, uh, because a lot of the games we have been playing have been very short. You know, like, the longest probably is like three hours. Yeah. You know, we don't really go over that or, you know, four hours, like a Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. But, um, you know, some of these newer games, it's like, you know, I would love to play through The Last of Us. That'd be cool to sit down and play. But that's a fairly long game. Like, I don't know how long it is. Like, I'm just going to say 20 hours, just whatever. Be rushed, probably. So, um, yeah, 20 hours, but, like, really, are we going to sit down and play for 20 hours? Like, holy mackerel. You know, so we're trying to figure stuff out. How are we going to do this and how are we going to do that? So that's kind of been with, new with me is just trying to figure out different games. What's shorter, which ones are longer, and how are we going to do the longer ones? Mm -hmm. But we eventually will get to it. We will do longer gameplay. So other than that, let's get to it. So... Of course, Christmas time, so we have to do a Christmas game. It's kind of debating, trying to figure out what game we really wanted to play. And um, I could only find a few of them. There was like, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, um, you know, uh, uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, all on the Wii. And then, you know, I have Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, on the old Nintendo. And I was like, well, that'd be cool to play, you know, maybe do something like that. And then they have a new game. It's a homebrew game. You know, called 8-Bit Christmas, hmm. and those are pretty cool, like you can actually plug it in, if you have a top loader, yeah. you know, stick it in there, and the game itself will light up, and have Christmas lights and stuff. Cool. It'd be cool to get, but you have to spend like 50 bucks for the stupid thing, and I, I don't want to do that, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So, what we decided to do for this time was, uh, we're going to play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The reason why we're going for this is because it's the 50th anniversary of the movie. You know, so, I mean, 50 years, it's celebrated all over the place, and um, the funny thing is, okay, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, 50th anniversary, you go to Walmart, you go here, you go there, it's Rudolph stuff all over the place. Trying to find this game was near impossible mm -hmm. for me. I, so, I go to, like, Walmart, and I'm like, okay... You know, snooping around. Oh no, Rudolph. Okay, whatever. Go over to GameStop. Go. Over, they don't like. They don't even have Wii games anymore. It's all Wii U stuff. Mm. But um, I asked the guy, and he's like, "No, we don't have anything like that here." Yeah. So too bad. And then I go to another Walmart, a bigger Walmart. Nothing over there either. Another game store. Nothing over there. And it's like, well, come on. Is this the rarest game in the world? I don't want to order it online. This will be ridiculous. Yeah. You know. And then uh. Finally, I went to uh, my local Walmart, and they had it in like a big cardboard. Uh, There's like a big cardboard shelf thing, which is full of games. And this game, with a couple other Christmas ones, were shoved way underneath. <laughs> and I didn't have any money on me at the time, and I was like looking through there, and I couldn't afford it at the time. And I was like, oh. Well, I'll put it in here, you know, I put it in a spot where I know I'll come back the next day when I have money and I'll get it. Anyway, so I go and I hide it, and I'm like, all right, I'll come back the next day. So I come back the next day, all the games are gone. 
It's like everything was completely moved and gotten rid of. Okay. Made me so mad. No one knew where it was. No one knew anything. Huh. So finally, I kept going back there and going back there, and finally, eventually, I found it again. Yeah. And it was like, really? I remember you, I even went to a couple places, yeah, including Walmart, and then I went over to the gift stop, and I was, or the game stop, and I was asking, hey, do you guys have Rudolph on the Wii? And they're like, it's funny, there's one other guy in here asking me the other day, and nobody ever asks for that game. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I think I know who that is. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, is this one of those games that's going to be worth a million bucks in the future? I mean, geez. Yeah, because it's so freaking rare. Stupid. But anyway, you know, it's got the manual and disc and everything. Better have since I bought it brand new. So, whatever. We're going to pop this puppy in and see if it's worth playing. Can't on the, wait. On the good old Nintendo Wii. So, you ready to get going? Let's do it. This is weird because I've never played a Wii before. Stop it! Knock it off! You know what I think is um, pretty stupid too? Huh? This is not Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Christmas song, is it? I don't recognize it. It's like, really? Can't you put Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I mean, come on. <laughs> stupid. What is this? Do, 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 do. Hold the Wii remote like this! Story mode, level so Okay, so check this out. We got level select. So you hit it, and uh, it's not a stage... It's like, okay, level select, easy, medium, and hard, but it's not. It's just the uh, actual, actual games. Actual levels that it's you like, go to. It's like a stage select. Yeah. But they choose your level. Oh, okay. Hard? No. No. Nope. Stupid. It's like a chapter select in a DVD. I've never played a Wii before, so this is interesting. We're going to go to story mode. Number of players, uh... Yeah, we'll do two players. So sorry. So... Um... My favorite character in uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is Yukon Cornelius. Rudolph is one of my... I never really cared much for the movie too much. You know, I don't mind it. It's a Christmas movie. I like it, but... You know, like Garfield Christmas and stuff like that, I've always liked better. It's been a but, long time since I've seen the Rudolph movie. So, my favorite character from Rudolph, though, is Yukon Cornelius. I think he's just awesome. Sweet. So, I'm going to go with him. But uh, we'll probably be changing up the characters with the different uh, stages, too. Okay. And you're going to be... Uh, I'll just be the elf. Hermie the elf. Hermie the elf. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. What? Haven't you heard of a talking snowman before? Actually, yeah, I have when I saw the movie. Oh. Alright, so you gotta hold it like this. Like this? Alright. Oh. I mean, it... So we're supposed to knock certain things into the tree, like the ornaments. This is great because as a kid, I would always do this with my control to move the characters anyway. And I guess we're uh, doing a competition here, which is kind of cool. So, oh, we can comp compete for points. I'm too short. Ah, <sighs> there we go. Hey, the is big. It's go on the twee! <laughs> yeah, that is kind of weird, like, uh, it almost is a disadvantage for you because, um, he is so much taller. He ain't got no hops. Get over there, come on. You know what, I'm just gonna try to mess up your score. Like, he doesn't move side to side fast enough. You know, I'm just gonna wait here. Oh, I can't do that. Uh. Come on! Wait, don't. Put a drop the ball on that. It's 
It's weird, uh, Mrs. Claus in the background, she looks Asian. <laughs> She's having tea ceremony back there. Oh, here comes the Bumble. Bumble's bounce! It's not done, we haven't finished the tree yet, you can't put the star on yet. One strand of lights so, is dead. I got 15 and you got 5. So, whatever. Continue? Let's continue. So, pick different characters, I guess. Um, you're gonna go with Santa. Oh, oh, oh. I'll go with. I'll go with Rudolph. All right. So basically, what's happening now is we got to go to Santa's workshop and help paint the toys. So by doing it, you just do this: throw paint. And uh, you have to do it when they light up. But watch how stupid this is. So. Well, What, you, just as long as there's you no throw way to it. aim or anything. Just Wait. as long as you throw it, it don't matter. Hey, you can close your eyes, do all sorts of stupid stuff. It doesn't matter. You're always gonna hit uh, hit the toy. Wait a minute, I missed once. I think it's because you got to it before me. What the heck? No, now I'm missing. Oh no, you get to hit every single freaking one. Look at that! Look at that! He just fell short. And you're Santa. Maybe because Santa just can't throw. I think you have to throw it at the blue ones. And I'm so you're throwing it at the blue ones, and I'm throwing it at the red ones. Maybe if you're throwing it beforehand, you're throwing them short. So like before they light up, mm. if you throw it, oh, you're you gonna fall miss. short anyway. I see. And then they so light basically, up. as long as you make sure that there's a blue one lit up, you can do this. So like I could do it blindfolded. Like I'm gonna face this way. Yep, you hit it. Yeah, you hit that too. As long as you throw it when they light up, you're gonna hit them. So it's pretty stupid. They should at least have it where you aim, like point your Wiimote at the TV, and like uh, like in carnival games where um, like if you do the darts in carnival games, you have to take your Wiimote and try to aim and then like throw it. I was kind of hoping I would be beating like this. Me. This is how you do the darts in carnival games. Hmm. But you have to make sure you're aiming correctly and stuff, too. It's like, oh, I have to hurry up and paint more toys. I can't, because it gives you only so many toys. Like, how do you get 53? I'll be Rudy. And, uh, I'll be good old Saint Nick. The toys are ready for children all over the world. All over the world. All right, so now we have to go and, um, help bake cookies, I guess. Which reminds me. Oh, yeah. This time you gotta do a bunch of different stuff. <laughs> go, Rudolph, go! Come Put on, that salt and pepper on, on it. It's like it doesn't even matter like how Don't it? fast you go. No. He just does it the same way. What if I just sit here and do this? I'm just shaking everything. But I really think a cat could play this game. Yeah, pretty much anyway. Yeah, anyone could play this game just as long as you sit here and shake it. Like mm -hmm. a moron. It doesn't matter. Catch up! Catch up, Rudolph! Oh, look at that photobomb in the back. Look at Santa, the way he laughs. That's Rudolph, they're just freaking dancing. So, whatever. Wait, what was the uh, task? We'll see what we have to do now, so... Alright, so we just have to deliver presents and drop them into the chimneys of the houses. So now we're going to actually have to time, time stuff. Oh, you got a bling? Oh, you get like free, five freaking points ah. because you're dead on. Yeah. And I get stupid. like what participation points? Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you hit the house, you still, um, 
You still get points. No, you can do it at different degrees because you're you're like only tossing it a little bit, and Come I was on. like, see, if I knew you could do that, it would be a little bit more accurate. Go. And you're the. You're oh, the, I got it. You're the grill elf. Yeah. Let's see if I can throw up farther. Come on. Even if you hit the side of the house, it's fine. No, that was cheap. I hit the... So I guess you gotta hit, like, right on top. Yeah. If you hit the side of the chimney, it's fine. You know, they enough. shouldn't even give you points if you hit the house. Nope, they participation should only, points. They should only give you points. Like that, if you get it in the chimney, like I just did. Then you get points. Oh, no, then kids would get upset because their games are difficult. They would ruin Let's their self-esteem. it! They would ruin their self-esteem. Why does she throw so much farther? It's so difficult to hit anything. Throw it! Oh, I'm glad I got participation points. I would've flunked that. You wanna hand me a Coke? Oh. Well, glad we're all prepared. We're in it for the long haul today. So check this out. These Cokes? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, what is this? 13 ounces. You know how much these sell for, like, at Walmart? Yeah. A like, buck. Yeah, a dollar. Really? It's, like, a little bit more than a can, and you're charging a buck? It's inflation, man. Oh, because it's an ornament. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Stupid. Let's just say they will go down in history. All right. So how do we prep for next year? All right. So that's the end of the game, apparently. Oh, let's drop everything too. All right. So four games, and that was really super short. There's nothing else to do. You know, you can look at the high scores. <clears throat> which nothing. Options, which is nothing. Like, really? Come on. Yeah, oh, it saved the game. <laughs> I don't know if we... I don't know if we can get, get back up to that point. You know, we should save our progress. So, and the level select. Just picking the different games to play. Alright, so that was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on the Wii. Um, boy, you know what? I don't think we could have picked a game that any longer than this. <laughs> really? 50, yeah. It took us 15 minutes to play it. You know, and what really ticks me off, it's a $15 game. 15 bucks. It's pretty pricey for a short game, yeah. Four mini games, like, okay, come on. Like, okay, I have Goosebumps um, Horror Land on the PS2. And that's a game, like, with a bunch of mini games in it. Yeah. Um, for those that don't know that have never played it before, you, um,. You go to like a carnival called Horrorland. You go to a carnival and you play all the carnival games. All right, fine, a whole bunch of games, whatever, five, six games, and then you move on to the next area, which is Vampire Land, and you do more games and more roller coasters and stuff. You beat that, then you go on to Fever Swamp, and you keep going, you keep going. It's a fairly good game, you know, pretty long, whatever. This, no, you get you get too many games. It's like, I mean, yeah, well, a lot. Of, oh, sorry, go ahead. Like, um, were they fun? I mean, yeah, you know, they weren't bad. I mean, the presence, I mean, it adds competition, you know, doing a two-player. But one player, I mean, I, you're not doing anything. You're getting points, but I mean... It's a lot of shaking the Wii around, yeah. And I've never played a Wii before, but for me, that game didn't have much control for it. I know what the audience members are probably saying. Like, it's a kid's game, you know? Get over it. I'm sure kids would enjoy it. I'm sure it would be really fun for the whole family. You can get a little bit more play value out of it by changing the characters, try to try out different characters, go through the whole thing with different characters. But, um, truth is, I agree, kids are spoiled these days because they're getting pointless points, and it's... it's... It's much easier than the than the games of our days. Yeah, definitely. You know, games we grew up with were way harder than this and yeah. way longer. And I mean, come on, fifteen bucks? They could have easily done it like a, a downloadable game. I mean, people were going on the internet with the Wii anyway. People are downloading like the classic uh, NES games on their Wii anyway. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, come on, put this on there for like a couple bucks. 
There you go. No, $15. Yeah. Why? Because it's Rudolph? So stupid. So quick. And I mean, the fun value, it's like, eh, it's alright. Like, mm -hmm. as entertainment wise goes, like, oh, this game is pretty fun. Maybe like a, a 6 out of 10. Like, you know, the competition, oh, we're, I'm going to try to get the ornament on the tree before you do. You know, oh, I'm going to... It is much more difficult in two players because you can steal my wind. Yeah. For sure. But, um, I don't know. This game sucks. <laughs> really, really short. Just, it's pointless. You know, we, we did all this. Decorated everything up. Got crazy for how Bought a bunch of Christmas cookies. Got the eggnog here. You know, we're drinking eggnog, eating cookies. Drinking Christmas Coke. And now we're done. Absolutely stupid. No, I'm sure people, why don't you just do We Wish You a Merry Christmas? Why don't you just do the other ones? Because it's the 50th anniversary of Rudolph. That's why we did it. We hope you did. you proud, Rudolph. So, whatever. Stupid. Like I said, I can't really see going through and playing it by yourself because, you know, like you said, what's the point? I mean, there's no ending to it. No, there's no real storyline. Like, it could, there's a lot of wealth and fodder from the story from the movie you know they could have followed that a little bit you know they could have had something you know some some sort of something to draw you in you know to to be more like the movie yeah. um they had a wealth of ideas you know you can fit a lot on those little discs and they didn't they just chose not to yeah you could have went and got into a fight with the bumble the abominable snowman or whatever, you know, did that Island scene. of Misfit Toys. Yeah, you could have done a whole bunch of stuff, but no, you get four mini games like, like that. And it's like, okay. Yeah. So, definitely not, do you think it's worth 15 bucks? Not 15 bucks. No, definitely not. It's, it should be like a, t a two dollar game. Yeah, uh, that's like three max. Yeah, but, I don't know, that's, that's pushing it right there, even three dollars for me. <laughs> Like hoof to, because yeah, like I said, one player game. There's no ending to it. Like you, you get done with the game. You could go through the whole game, and just let the timer run out and not do yeah. anything. And each to be like, oh, 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 good job, good yeah. job, dear. <laughs> you do get a lot of participation points in this game. Um, I would say, yeah, okay. If you have kids, three bucks. If you don't have yeah. kids, maybe fifty cents. Yeah, and don't don't go out to Walmart and try to buy it or anything unless you're looking to finish your Wii collection. Yeah. Because as far as, I went to GameStop and they don't even have original Wii games anymore. It's all Wii U. Hmm. So I don't know. Did not know that. At least the GameStop by us. So, whatever. Uh, we're going to go celebrate some Christmas time and oh well, yeah, we got some uh, presents for each other. Oh, I think, yeah. So, so, uh, so I ended up getting you this. So oh, well, thanks. Hope you I enjoy you. it. Got you this. Good old present wrapping here. Hope we're not saving the paper. Nah, you can get rid of it. Oh wow. Elemental Master. Yeah, that's definitely uh, one of my favorite games of all times. You know, I loved playing that as a kid. Can you okay. show the camera? For the Genesis, oh yeah. Elemental Master for the Genesis in the case? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, oh yeah. Hmm. And I got you Tiny Tank. Awesome. One of my favorite games on the PlayStation. Lots of fun memories. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No manual with it, but yeah, yeah. it's still pretty cool. Yeah, well, you get a lot of good gameplay out of it. But, yeah, yeah, that, that, that game's game. really awesome. Oh, I really yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, that game's really awesome. Hope you'll let me borrow it sometime. Yeah, yeah, it'd be cool if I could borrow that yeah, one. You want to borrow it? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. You want to just trade? Yeah, that'd be cool. Because yeah. I really like this play, playing this game, too. So. Yeah, that's... Yeah, let me know how good that one is. Yeah, let sometime. me know how that one is. That'd... That'd be great. All right, All right, so whatever. Thanks. That's it for Christmas time, I guess, so whatever. I'm Janitor Jake. I'm Chris Cabellas. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.